Hi guys, I'm Johnny, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the applications of PCR. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the use of PCR for the forensic analysis of DNA samples. A common example of this could be in crime investigation. In this case, a trace amount of DNA could be found on an item from a crime scene, but this sample would be too small for scientists to analyze. So, this trace DNA would be prepared and put through a polymerase chain reaction. This would result in an abundance of identical DNA that is much easier to analyze and hopefully to match to a suspect. This process can also be applied to the analysis of ancient DNA. This time, traces of DNA could be extracted from ancient remains, such as a mammoth here, amplified by PCR and then finally analyzed. The analysis of this DNA can give us great insight into ancient life. Another application of PCR is in the detection of pathogens. Here, I'll use a viral infection as an example. So, in this case, when the virus infects the host, the host will produce antibodies in response, but this can take up to two weeks. So, the traditional method for healthcare professionals to detect these viral infections is to screen the host's blood for the antibodies that they're producing. But of course, it can take days or even weeks for these antibodies to be produced and therefore damage can be done by the virus before anyone can detect it. Instead of this traditional method, PCR can be used. Here, even a tiny trace of the viral DNA can be collected and put through a polymerase chain reaction. This reaction will of course result in an abundance of the viral DNA that is easy to detect and analyze. The benefit of this method is that it doesn't require days or weeks of waiting for antibodies to be produced and can allow for a much quicker treatment of the patient. The last use of PCR I'll talk about is the diagnosis of genetic diseases. This process is quite similar to the first application I discussed. First, a DNA sample is taken from the patient, but as before, this sample is too small to analyze effectively and PCR will be needed. The DNA sample undergoes a polymerase chain reaction resulting in plenty of identical DNA. This DNA is put through gel electrophoresis to sequence it. This process gives us a clear depiction of the patient's DNA. This sequence is compared to the sequence of a diseased individual. If there are similarities, then the patient is at risk of having that disease. This procedure can be used for, among other things, screening parents for genetic disease before they decide on having children, screening for genetic diseases before implanting the embryo during IVF, or diagnosing genetic diseases once some symptoms have been noticed. 